What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're looking at the predictions for Australian Super Rugby Round 2. What a weekend we had to kick off the Australian version of Super Rugby Domestic Vision or Domestic Edition. And the Brumbies beating the Rebels 31 points to 23 on Saturday. I said the, the Brumbies to win, but Jeepers, intense game. Not, obviously, you got eight points there, but Rebels definitely show their heart, which I did mention could happen. But Brumbies picking up a good win. And then the Reds beating the Waratahs. Got that prediction wrong. I thought the Waratahs might just show up. They came back a little bit and they had their moments, but... It was the Reds to win that game. And well done to the Reds and Brumbies getting the kickoff to their wins um, of the Australian version of Super Rugby League. We're going into round two. It's going to be an interesting time because Western Force return, which is going to be interesting. We haven't seen Western Force for quite some time. And I think the question is going to be asked, how are they going to approach this tournament? How are they going to surprise us? Will they pick up wins or will they be dominated or will it be pretty much even an average, which I hope for. I either hope they get some wins and it's and it's solid, but I really don't hope they get walked over. Currently, if we look at the, the log, the Brumbies are sitting at top with five points. Then we've got the Reds with four, followed by the Waratahs and then the Force, obviously, because they haven't played anything and then Rebels at the bottom. On the Rebels note, they, they host... The Reds this weekend in what should be a cracker. Reds picking up a good win over the Waratahs. Rebels having a loss, but will be wanting redemption this weekend as they take on the Reds. In Again, it should be a cracker. Closely four games, I think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be a walkover. You know, you look at the Reds and you go past champions, but they've also had their ups and downs, and the Rebels have had their ups and downs, which is why I think it's going to be a close game. Um, and one to definitely look out for. Overall, the sides have met 17 times with the Reds leading set 10 games to 7. Um, in, in Melbourne, they've met 9 times with the Reds leading 5 games to 4. Recently, the Rebels lead the head-to-head -head winning 6 matches from the last 10. Last time these two teams met was in 2019 and they met twice, both home and away. Rebels picking up a win 30 to 24, and then again the Rebels are picking up a win away from home, which is very good, uh, 32 to 13. So it's definitely going to be a close fought contest for me. I think I <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough one to predict, but I think I'm going to go with the team uh, in. I'm going to give it actually to the Rebels. I'll take a risk and go Rebels to win that game, but I think it's going to be but. Two points. Two, one, two, or three points. I think it could be, but it's going to be a good one. But um, I, I think it's going to be one of those games where you're just not sure who's going to pick up the air and result. But I'm going to go for Rebels. They need a win. Reds will be confident because they picked up the win, but the, the, the Rebels for me need it to make this tournament a bit more exciting. So I'm going Rebels to win. Next up, the team that makes their comeback. The Waratahs are taking on the newly form to Super Rugby Australia, their Western Force. Now, these two teams have met 18 times with the Waratahs leading 11 games to six. So it's going to be interesting to see how these teams go. You generally go Waratahs as favourites, but the Waratahs haven't been in the hottest form of late. So does this mean with the Western Force coming in all new, unpredictable, you're not sure what could happen, it, it it just could surprise us. And um, I think it's going to be a very interesting game and we could see surprises. And I, I hope for the sake of the Western Force that they put up a good game and get a strong force force within. But obviously I am a Waratahs supporter and I'm going to back the Waratahs. I think they need this one more than ever. Obviously so do the Force, but I think the Force are going to come to their own as the tournament progresses. Because I just feel they do have a lot to offer. And them taking on the Reds and uh, the Melbourne Rebels are going to be intense contests that I look forward to witnessing. So me, I'm going to go Waratahs to pick up this win. This is six, seven points. I hope it's not too much. Um, Waratahs played them in 2015 at home. And they won 19-13. to 13. 
So it's, it's interesting results. Waratah pretty much taking the odd one. Last time they met, according to the stat, and correct me if it's wrong or right, Force won 40 points to 11. Um, I cannot remember that. It was in 2017, three years ago. So one of the Australian fans correct that. Is it right or wrong? Um, but if that's the case, watch out Waratahs. These rebel, at least the Force, are going to be strong. So may the Force be with you all. So for me, I'm going Waratahs to win as well as the Rebels. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Who do you think is going to win? Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.